Namaste dosto. If you've ever had your phone pickpocketed in India like I have, then let me show you a little black market where you might find it. I'm walking to the market now. This is the Dadar station in Mumbai and outside is a popular spot to buy recycled and stolen phones. Before we get there though, you should know a little bit about pickpockets and how to stay safe. So Mumbai, like other cities around the world actually, because I've also been robbed in New York, have these pickpocket gangs who target public transport and busy markets. And here's the thing that most people don't realize. Pickpockets are not always men. Women pickpockets are common and very successful at their work because no one suspects them. And generally they work in groups and how they'll rob you is someone will press up against you or all two or three of them will press up against you and a few seconds later you'll realize you feel a bit lighter. While they all pushed past you, someone lifted the phone from your pocket. So if you want to keep your phone and valuables safe, do not keep them in your pockets. Keep them in a backpack with a theft proof pocket. These are pockets that can't be slit with a knife. You'll also notice on busy public transport that some locals will wear their backpack on their chest for both ease of access and also so they can keep an eye on it for security. This pop-up market, as far as I know, it only operates after dark. It's a market for people who want the cheapest price, but this is also the kind of place that a criminal would buy a phone because going into a retail store leaves a trace. So these phones are more anonymous. Now, let's check out the market and I'll tell you what happens to expensive phones with anti-theft software because it's quite interesting. Let's check if it works, no? The iPhone. The iPhone didn't seem right. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe I just can't remember the UI. It was a faulty iPhone. It was. It was maybe jailbroken. Yeah, maybe. This guy's got the phones too. Yes, boss. Why we iPhone? You have iPhone. 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 You this lady here, she's sorting for a bag of electronic waste. One man's trash is another man's treasure and that's great because here in India every rupee matters and therefore recycling is taken seriously. Some of the phones we checked out hadn't even been wiped or reset. They still had the original owner's WhatsApp accounts active. That's a sign that it's a stolen phone and sometimes people will specifically buy these phones because it has so much personal information about the owner on it so they can use it to trick them or blackmail them somehow. Is this, is this an original? Final one or this? Yeah, original iPhone. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, 3S. The first iPhone. Oh wow, nearly. Antique phone. Yeah, yeah. Antique phone. Double three, double three, double three. What's up, Dikhai? Double three, double three, Dikhai. Antique phone. Yeah, gati apnu kaise rakhte apnu. We're seeing a lot of old smartphones because modern phones have more advanced security which takes some knowledge and software to bypass. If the phone security can't be bypassed, then they're broken down and sold as spare parts. A pop-up roadside market like this isn't the right place to find expensive mobiles anyway. Those are sold at more permanent second-hand phone retail stores 
or on classified sites like OLX or Facebook Marketplace. Another cool thing is that the Indian Department of Telecommunications operates a block list. So if you report your phone is stolen, it won't be able to be used on Indian mobile networks. But to get around this, what criminals do is they just export those phones to neighboring countries where they can be used. Ah, we keep looking. Yeah, it's okay. If it's not no charge, then what the f so you can't even you can't even verify, no? Yeah. So what's the point? Blackberry have yeah. Look, 13. Blackberry, look at the Blackberry. Who can make a 13? I know this Nakli and Nakli iPhone. Ah, Nakli. I know. Copy, copy. Copy, copy yeah. Kidney the Chinese copy. 12,000. 12,000. Yeah, it looks the same though. <laughs> you haven't seen it? <laughs> Next to Ah, Sasta, eh? Are you a Sabura? No, it's Android, hey. I don't need it. Are you a Sabura? No, it's Android. Look, you can tell that last one was a fake too. There's something that's not quite right, bro. I can... iOS. So basically yeah, yeah. modified iOS. Like, okay, go to App Store, it will be no App Store. Oh, wait, there it is. Click it, but there won't be Apple. Mm. It'll go to um, yeah, yeah, Android App Store. But they've done a good job. Oh, it's a good job. Thirteen thousand is good for the clone. Yeah, like, it's a good price. Fourteen, no bro. And people think you have an iPhone. Oh, exactly. Like it looks just like an iPhone. Bara. Are gadi khel. Bara bhi nahi lag. Blackberry <laughs> that is very pushy man I grabbed my arm and digging in would you shop here let me know in the comments and I've got an entire black market playlist so go and watch that next